How you doing out there today, everyone? My name is Kyle Jeffers. Today I'll be doing a film review on Collateral, uh, starring Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise. Um, Collateral is a film about a taxi cab driver that's taken on an unexpected ride himself. Um, he picks up Tom Cruise after dropping off um, Jada Pickett. Um, and what's so crazy is by the end of the movie, Tom Cruise is trying to kill Jada Pickett. And it's kind of like, wow, this is really placed together very well. Like, just the editing tactics of how they took it from Tom Cruise jumping in the car, talking to Max about how he was trying to just get him to drive him around all night. And then, by the end of the night, they're fighting pretty much. Jamie Foxx does kill Tom Cruise in the end. Um, so it's just like, it's completely unexpected from beginning to the end is very, very suspenseful. And once once the action picks up, it's very suspenseful. Um, it starts off with just a lot of close shots and just to get you to feel and the smell of being in the taxi or just being in the taxi place. It's just trying to get you ready and prepared for the unexpected. So because in this movie it's you know you don't know what to expect. Everything is just like on edge from the minute that Tom Cruise jumped into the car with Jamie Foxx the whole feel of the movie changed Jamie Foxx's character actually changed as well towards the end Jamie Foxx was more so conservative real humble calm guy and he actually has to turn himself into the hero and he has to stop being a coward and go after Tom Cruise in order to save Jada Pickett um one of the most influential parts of the movie was when the wolf show actually showed itself. Um, the wolf was a it was pretty much symbol symbolism as to Tom Cruise's character. Um, if you look at the movie very closely, the wolf is very is gray. Tom Cruise is um, dressed in gray. His hair is gray. His skin is very pale. Um, and it's just a comparison of the two. A wolf is a, a hunter. And pretty much in this movie, Tom Cruise is definitely a hunter. He's going on his missions to kill each person that he was paid to kill. And he has no remorse for them at all. It's just like, and it's over. He doesn't really feel anything. Um, I would definitely um, recommend this movie to um, anyone that just wants to see how digital film changed, pretty much changed the game. Um, we I talked about uh, Frank Serpico and Serpico in a previous uh, um, review, and from the seventies to now, uh, film quality has gone up by a million, pretty much. Um, and this movie just shows the advancement of the, t uh, the equipment and everything that's done. From the digital shots, from the moving shots, just everything. From definitely the action shots were definitely um, some shots that took hold of my mind and haven't let go. Um, this is a great movie. I would definitely suggest you go out and see it. Uh, thank you.